Hi friends, it's Susan from Alpine. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Today we're going to show you how we built a wooden spine bookshelf. This project came out so well and we are super excited to share it with you all. Let's get started. We started the build with four three-quarter inch thick pine boards and one three-quarter inch thick paddock piece. We also needed four one-quarter inch paddock piece for lining the front edge of the shelf. We marked a three-inch slot at the center of each pine wood shelf using a tape. This is where the paddock vertical spine column should go in. We then mark the slot in the front edge of the pine wood for fitting the paddock lining inside. For this, we used a marking gauge to scribe the thickness of the paddock strip onto the front edge of the pine wood shelf pieces. We did the same for all the four pine wood shelf pieces. Here's a quick tip: using a marking gauge is definitely more accurate than using a tape. All the measurements in this build may sound a bit confusing, so if you're looking for written details about this project, such as the dimensions or materials or tools that we used, check out our blog Mellow Pine by clicking on the link below this video. Okay, so it's important to mark a 45 degree line to mark the mitered edge of the front lining piece. We used a framing square to do this. Next, we mark the locations where the shelves have to go into the vertical spine column. For this, we mark the first shelf 3 inches from the top and the fourth shelf, which is the last one, 3 inches from the bottom of the paddock column piece. Once that was done, we spaced the other two shelves equally between the top and the bottom shelves. After that, we went ahead and routed the front edge slots for the paddock lining and the slots at the back for the vertical spine column. If you don't have a router, you can use a jigsaw and do some sanding afterwards to make it perfect. Although the router removes almost all the wood that we need to take off, it won't give a square corner. So we need to take that small bit of piece off from the lining edge as well as the column slots using the jigsaw. After this, we did some light sanding to remove the strands of wood that were left after the routing. The next step was making the front edge lining pieces from the paddock pieces we made earlier. The width and the thickness were correct and we had to make 4 pieces of length 11 inches with a 45 degree miter at the ends from these pieces. We used the miter saw, set it at 45 degree angle and sized the pieces down to 11 inches with miters on both ends. Once the four lining pieces were ready, we tried a dry fit of the shelf pieces and the front edge lining pieces. Thankfully, it all fitted correctly. So we decided to glue up the front edge lining pieces to the shelves. We used Tidebond 2 wood glue to stick everything together and clamped everything neatly using the pipe clamps. We kept a paper in between the pieces to avoid them from sticking together. After the glue dried, we scraped off the excess glue and the paper from the shelves. Once the pieces were ready with the front edge lining, we sanded everything all the way from 120 grit to 320 grit. That's when we realized that the markings on the vertical spine where the shelves were supposed to go in were gone due to the sanding. So we had to mark the shelf locations again.
After that, we drilled some pilot holes in the column piece for screwing it to the shelves. We used a drill guide to ensure that the pilot hole was vertical. After this, we used a countersink drill bit to do the countersinking for ensuring that the screw heads are level with the wood surface. The next part was screwing the shells onto the column. We decided to use glue along with screwing for added strength. So we applied glue in the slot joints and screwed them in afterwards. Finally, it was time to finish the vertical spine column bookshelf. We wanted a nice contrast between the paduk and the pine wood, so we decided to go for a clear finish. We used our homemade paste wax for finishing the bookshelf. We made it using boiled linseed oil and natural beeswax in a 3 is to 1 ratio. You can also use a clear water-based polyurethane finish if you don't want to make paste wax. Make sure that you buff it well with a cloth after applying the wax. That's it, our vertical spine column bookshelf is now ready. We love the colors on this one and we hope you like it too. For free plans of this build, check out our blog Mellopine. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel and let us know what you think in the comments below.